Hello, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to another episode of Bring It Live. Me, Lotus, and Han. Hi. Look a bit wishy-washy today, Han. Very pixelated. Seems that way. <laughs> While Han's trying to come back through the nether, um, here at the Into the 99, we are looking to do Rael the Etherwise. Uh, one blue and a red for a 0-3 human wizard. Rael the Everwise gets plus one plus O for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. And whenever you discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. Hey Luther, hey Heinz D, how are you? Hey, welcome, yeah. welcome. Rael's a fun one. It's and that's each turn. So mm. let's do some stuff at instant speed and discard some cards. Get some value out of that, right? Of course, of course. Um, because we can do it in our opponent's turn, our turn, and to get the best benefit out of it, it is wise to do it in each of those turns. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, one thing immediately screamed at me, this commander, and... Oh, what's that? I, when I first saw this, when it was first, um, spoiled, um, I wanted to do it with, um, that enchantment from Ikoria. Uh, ominouses? That's it, ominouses. Yep, ominouses. So whenever you draw a card, put a Kraken counter, I believe, or something to that effect. A foreshadow counter. <laughs> no, it's but, a Kraken counter as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and when you remove eight, make an eight eight. Yep. That was a, Seems good. That was a deck that I was brewing in standard, and uh, it never worked. But I feel like this is... One deck that might. You could yep. say it's ever wise. <laughs> it is ever wise to do it. Ooh, Luther. Mayhaps I call out the oldie goldie Firestorm. I love Firestorm. It's such a fantastic card. One red for an instant that says choose and discard X cards. Firestorm deals X damage to each of X target creatures and or players. Cool. So let's say we discard our hand, let's say seven cards. We're yep. going to deal seven damage to each creature or player. Uh, X targets. So seven targets. I wonder. I, uh, I think it now is any target. Oh, you're looking up the Oracle text? Yeah, it's just targets. There yep. is. So any target. Hit planeswalkers if you want. Yep. As an additional cost to cast the spell, discard X cards. The Oracle text here. Uh, Firestorm deals X damage to each of X targets. Fantastic. Yeah, and then draw seven cards. <laughs> if you're discarding yep. seven. Yeah, and this is at instant speed, no less. Oh. Also, Riel loves my favorite card draw from Kamigawa. Ideas Unbound. I think um, Ashen should have beat you to a Kamigawa card there, but uh, double blue, should've. Sorcery Arcane. Draw three cards, discard three cards. So that's draw three, discard three, draw three. So, so two mana, draw six. Draw six, discard three, basically. Seems pretty good. That's at sorcery speed, so we'd be doing that on our turn. Yeah, depends how many arcane stuff. <laughs> Heinz D is already ahead of the curve here. Uh, Heinz D says, the new harmonic prodigy sounds like fun. G. Yep. Strixhaven brought this around. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's this is the uh, Modern Horizons card. I thought it was the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Harmonic Prodigy is absolutely bonkers with Rael because Rael is a wizard, human wizard. So yeah. uh, Harmonic Prodigy reads one in a red for a one three human wizard with prowess. Uh, whenever you cast a non creature spell, this creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. If an ability of a shaman or other wizard you control triggers, that ability triggers an additional time. This means that Rael becomes, whenever you discard one or more cards, draw that many cards times two. This, this is fun. It's amazing. <laughs> Scorched Scorch. Earth. If you're feeling mean, says Luther. What are you okay. doing? Scorched Earth, X and Red, choose and discard X land cards, destroy X target lands. Are we feeling mean? It's in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling very mean. 
Ooh, okay. We're in one of those moods today. I love it. All right. All right. Not in one of those moods. I just think that's, I think selective land destruction needed sometimes. With Field sure. of the Dead's round, so many... I mean, we put Field in the Dead in every deck, nearly. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't suggest that card a lot. Looking at you. I don't, I don't suggest that card at all. I don't... Do you have no proof? <laughs> <laughs> if you just go back to our previous video. Uh, Heinz D. What's Neheb? Mm-hmm. So... Which one? War of the Spark. War of the Spark, Neheb. Uh, that'd be Dreadhorde Champion. Cadian Merchant, thank you for following. Neheb Dread Champion, 2 red red, trample 5-4. Whenever uh, it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, you may discard any number of cards. If you do, draw that many cards and add that much red until end of turn. You don't lose mana as steps and phases end. Oh, yep. ta attack, discard 3, draw 3, draw another 3 or 3 L, And have the mm -hmm. mana to and do add three red. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, that seems pretty great. Uh, Mercadian Merchant <laughs> also suggests something that I really like. Uh, cycling seems good, and Tectonic Reformation gives cycling to all lands. Uh, my buddy Pops loves this in his, uh, <laughs> in his Gavi deck. Yeah, Tectonic Reformation. Let's just use our lands to just cycle every turn. Draw two by discarding the land? Oh, yeah. Cycling just got so much better. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's a definitely good idea. So it sounds like we're drawing a lot of cards. Yeah. You know, you know what's a phenomenal card that just does work when you are drawing a ton of cards? I'm, I'm sure that you'll have a perfectly good one there, huh? Uh, it's an M19 card, actually. Psychic Corrosion. Why don't we... Why don't we go ahead and just draw some cards and every time we do each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard no it seems like fun it it does you you you've turned it into another meal deck haven't you <laughs> hey if you have it out you have it out yeah okay that's fair that's that's fair. we're drawing how many cards we're making other people mill that many cards think about it yeah what's the <laughs> what's that one that um does something very similar. Uh, Sphinx's Revelation? Sphinx's Revelation. Sphinx's Revelation, I think it's the one. No. One I'm thinking. No. It's uh, another blue enchantment. If you draw a card, tutelage. tutelage. That's the one. Thank you. <laughs> Isn't that Teferi, though? No, Sphinx's Tutelage is two and a blue enchantment. Whenever you draw a card, Ooh. target opponent uh, mills two. If they both non-land cards and share a color repeat the process oh yeah yeah that'll do it uh while we're on the subject though we might as well look at teferi's tutelage i feel like so teferi's tutelage is two and a blue another m21 card here uh, for an enchantment when teferi's tutelage enters the battlefield draw a card then discard a card so we want to discard a card anyways whenever you draw a card target opponent mills two cards so along the same lines yeah. A little bit of redundancy here. I mean, they're all the same sort of mana cost, so it's a nice card to uh, get. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a couple of uh, suggestions in chat that we've missed here. Uh, Luther says, Turbulent Dreams is something I wish I knew about before today. So Turbulent Dreams, what do we have here? Double Blue Sorcery. As an additional cost to play Turbulent Dreams, discard X cards from return X target non-land permanence to their owner's hand. Ooh, Ooh that's I going, like it. That's going in, but that's dirty. Hmm. I see this is going to be a fun one. <laughs> uh, Fists of Flame. Uh, Heinz D says, drawing lots of cards, Fists of Flame. Fists so of Fists flame. of Flame is one in a red. For an instant, draw a card until end of turn, target creature gains trample, and plus one, plus zero for each card you've drawn this turn. Oh, okay, okay. So we're going to put this on Riel. Oh, I mean, it... If we're going to run lots of instants and sorceries to give Rael the plus one, plus O, and then use that plus one, plus O, and trample, we could command a strike someone. Yeah, and this is giving it trample too. I like it. Yeah. Okay, okay. I oh. see, I see. I like it. I like it. 
Um, <laughs> Macadian Merchant says Archmage Ascension. Not heard okay. of that one. Uh, Archmage Ascension, two and a blue for an enchantment at the beginning of each end step. If you draw two, if you drew two or more cards this turn, you may put a quest counter on Archmage Ascension. Okay, so it's a quest counter uh, in blue. Okay. As long as Archmage Ascension has six or more quest counters on it, if you would draw a card, you may instead search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, then shuffle your library. Why have I not that said this seems, before? That seems busted. It's out of Zendikar. And it's okay. It's it's not even a Euro. It's Yeah. Is that not a I need to pick one of them up. So six quest or, six or more quest counters on it, which we're gonna be doing quite easily. And so at the beginning of each instance, so this this takes a while to come online. But once you once it does, we're just gonna search our library for a card and just tutor instead of any time we would draw. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Find all of our win conditions in one go. <laughs> that's filth, and I like it. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Okay. Uh, Luther says breakthrough becomes playable in this deck. What's breakthrough? X and blue sorcery. Draw four cards, then choose X cards in your hand and discard the rest. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> so, blue, X, let's say it's seven again. <laughs> Draw four cards. This, uh, choose seven, right? Choose seven cards in your hand, and then discard the rest. I mean, even if you play it for a single blue and zero... Draw four cards, choose zero cards, discard the rest, and then draw them again. Yeah. Just depends on how many cards you want to keep around, I guess. So it's pretty flexible, too, actually. I like it. Yeah. Oof. I'm just going to quickly Oof. check something. Sure. Library. Well, Lang. Lang. Yep. I have that in my in whenever one of my you, decks. Whenever a spell or effect forces you to discard a card, you may instead discard that card to the top of your library. Uh, yeah, the the oracle text is much more simpler. So one mana for the artifact that says you have no maximum hand size. And then if an effect causes you to discard a card, discard it, but you may put it on top of your library instead of into your graveyard. Oh, so we can discard our hand and draw the cards that we just discarded back. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's yep. a good one to put in. Library of Lang. Yep. Gives us no maximum hand size. We like that. Yeah. And... Yeah. Our discards just discard don't matter the anymore. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks to, you know, Locust God, my, my Locust God deck for this kind of stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, while we're on the subject of no maximum hand size, because we're going to be drawing so many cards, I think it's necessary. Um, I mean, we're going to need our Reliquary Tower. Uh, I think this is one of the most perfect decks for also for things like um seagate restoration oh okay so seagate restoration slash seagate reborn so uh four blue 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 for a sorcery draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand plus one you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game this could just replace an island real quick yeah hey evening ashen uh, one of uh each. yeah and then we have uh <laughs> heinz z it says i guess we don't get around faithless looting Cathartic Reunion and Frantic Search. We need them, I think. If we're going to have a commander yep. that needs sorceries and in, um, having the just pay one or pay two, discard a couple of cards, draw cards to draw more cards seems really good. Yeah, I think that that's pretty great. Uh, so Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, and what was the last one? Uh, frantic Search. I love Frantic Search. Uh, it's draw three... Discard three and untap three mana. Yeah. For three. Oh no, draw two and discard two. I apologize. Still good. Yeah, still good. Still good. <laughs> three mana, draw four, discard two, untap three lands back. Yep. Luther back in again with a fateful showdown. Oh, I love fateful showdown. I definitely ran that in my Locust God deck. Two uh, red. Two red red. red. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead, Lotus. Uh, instant. Faith for Shotem deals damage to target creature or player equal to the number of cards in your hand. Discard all the cards in your hand, then draw that many cards. Ew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> Heinz D says, Glint Horn, uh, Buccaneer. So, one red red 
for the Minotaur Pirate out of M20. I love this thing. 2-4 with haste. Whenever you discard a card, Glint Horn Buccaneer deals one damage to each opponent. One in a red. Discard a card. Draw a card. Activate this ability only if Glint Horn Buccaneer is attacking. So it's literally, it, it might as well say boast on it, right? <laughs> yeah. It might as well but just say we're gonna happen. we're gonna kill you by discarding our cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems pretty great. Um, so also that was the first suggestion. Uh, Braylon, <laughs> Braylon, Braylon, Sky Shark Raider, Sky Shark. Mm-hmm. I've got it's, uh, of Braylon and Shabraz. Yep, Braylon. Uh, B R A L L. Sky Shark is one word. That's why. All right, there he is. There you go. So Braylon, Sky Shark Raider, Rider, uh, three and a, and a red for a three three, legendary human shaman, partner with Shabraz, which we cannot do in this deck because Shabraz is uh, Azorius. Yeah. Um, however, whenever you discard a card, put a plus one plus one counter on Braylon, and it deals one damage to each opponent. For a single red, target shark gains trample until end of turn. So nothing relevant, but yeah, Glidhorn Buccaneer effect. You say it's Braylon not Minotaur. relevant. However, <laughs> what about Shark Typhoon? Ooh. Because we're going to be casting a lot of instants and sorceries, and Shark Typhoon yeah. is five and a blue, Let's but it has it, happen. it has cycling, and when you cycle it, you make a shark. But whenever you cast an on-creature spell, create an XX blue shark with flying, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. I, I just think that's too good to pass up. Yeah, let's just make it make it work. Yeah. Incidental I mean, value if we do have our shark out. And if not, we can cycle it. Make a shark and draw cards. Yep, I like it. And uh, last but not least, Surly Badgersaur. A what? Surly Badgersaur? A this is in the this is in the Gavi deck as well. Um three and a red for I... a badger <laughs> dinosaur, three three. Whenever you discard a card. Uh, discard a creature card, excuse me. Put a plus one plus one counter on Surly Badgersaur. Whenever you discard a land card, create a treasure token. Whenever you discard a non-creature non-land card, Surly Badgersaur fights up to one target creature you don't control. It's the discard, it's it's a, it's the waste not of red. <laughs> yeah, I can see that now. I did not know this card exists. I probably did, because I bought the um cycling deck uh i just mm -hmm. didn't i didn't really play it very much i just took out quite a lot of the cards it's a yeah. badger <laughs> <laughs> best badger uh uh luther says we're gonna need graveyard recycling i think so because i don't think well we might do depends if we can lab man win but i think we want to lab man win or just beat them with rael i mean it's it's up to you are we how, I, how many different win cons are we going with, right? Um, we're definitely going to be drawing a ton of cards. We'll, we could say that safely. Well, yeah, I, I think we'll see how it goes. But Clear the okay. Mind does seem like a good one. Uh, yeah, Clear the Mind seems pretty great. Uh, we missed one. Mercadium Merchant also said, what about Bag of Holding? Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back around to that, Mercadium Merchant. Clear the Mind. Yep, two and a blue sorcery. Target player shuffles their graveyard into their library drawer. Yep. And I'm just so looking at bad get, holding now. So clear the mind. Let's get our, our entire graveyard back into our library and do it all over again. Bag uh, of holding. Bag of holding. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Lotus. Uh, one colorless for an artifact. Whenever you discard a card, exile that card from your graveyard. Two and tap. Draw a card, then discard a card. Or and tap, sacrifice bag of holding, return all cards exiled with bag of holding to their owner's hand. Quite like that. I wonder if this yep. will get reprinted in the um, Forgotten Realms set. I'd be sad if it didn't. I mean, it is it literally might. the D&D yeah. &D card. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, besides bag of holding, uh, so Elixir of Immortality is a good suggestion. I like that. Is that the artifact? Yeah. Uh, Elixir of Immortality. So we got one for an, one mana for an artifact. Uh, two and tap to gain five life. Shuffle Elixir of Immortality and your graveyard into their owner's library. Yep. Have it out. Go ahead and do that. Gain some life and let's do it all over again. Draw some more cards. 
I know this is going to sound really sort of corny, but all of our artifacts are kind are at the moment one mana. So do we just want um, Urza's Saga? It's a land. Sure. Yeah, it's an enchantment land. Enchantment land. It doesn't take up a slot in the deck other than a basic. And it can get yep. Library of the Library of Lang Elixir and Bag of Holding. All things we want. Uh, yeah, seems pretty great. And the Soul Ring that we're going to put in later, even though Ashen won't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we definitely want some extra mana in this deck for sure. Yeah, I'm not All bad. Right, and the last but not least, uh, Luther in that line says, learn from the past. So three and a blue for an instant. Target player shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Draw a card. It's good. Yeah. Let's go ahead and toss that in there. Delphi Santana, never challenge her. <laughs> <laughs> We're just catching up to chat right now, too. Uh, Quest for Ancient Secrets would be an easy trigger for this deck, says Luther AD. Ancient Secrets quest. Okay. Single blue enchantment. Whenever a card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, you may put a quest counter on Quest for Ancient Secrets. Move five quest counters from Quest from Ancient Secrets and sacrifice it. Target player shuffles their graveyard into the... Okay. So we can pull the trigger whenever, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Delphi Santana, what the hell is this card? Never come across that one before. <laughs> <laughs> Ashen, it's a badger. Clearly. <laughs> okay, this is in reference to the badger sword. <laughs> oh, um... Where is it? Oh, it's there. Surly badger sword. Yeah. Uh, Ashen... Ashen says, unsurprisingly, I knew it was a thing. <laughs> Heinz D says, Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Oh, I like that, actually. I didn't even think of that one. Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Usually this goes into a lot of, uh, like, Golgari decks that want some uh, graveyard recursion type of stuff. Um, but yeah, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, Legendary Land, taps to add a colorless, or two and tap. Each player draws a card, then discards a card. So two mana, draw two yeah. for us. Seems good. Uh, alas. I like that Oof. one. Ashen so says at... Psychic Spiral. Not familiar with that one. No, uh, is it Kamigawa? No. Uh, <laughs> I kind of expected it was from Ashen. Four and a blue instant. Shuffle all cards from your graveyard into your library. Target player puts that many cards from the top of their library into their graveyard. Oh, I play this in Bruvac. Hmm. Just worked it out. I mill half my library, play this, and mill them. Yeah, I like that card. Okay. I mean, my brain instantly, as far as all these effects, my brain goes to Echo of Eons right off the bat, just because that one has flashback on it. Because I, th I feel like if we're discarding a bunch of cards, it's going to be each it's, player, it's going to be in our graveyard. Mm -hmm. Each player shuffles yeah. their hand and graveyard into their library and draws seven cards. Right. Okay, so we've got a lot of shuffling effects. Yep. We and then. Yeah, basically, it's it's four blue blue for it as a sorcery, but you flashback it for two and a blue. Yeah. Okay. Seems good. Going up in price as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, hand in hand with that, I'm going to go ahead and skip down here because we just had uh, Delphi Santano mention it. Uh, War of the Spark Narset for the mirrored draw effects and digging for things. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. Look at the top four cards of your library and they reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of the library. This is going to be yeah. horrible, but so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I do want to just go back because uh, Macadian yeah. Merchant has got a really good one that I really... Um, lightning Storm. What's the Lightning Storm do? Okay, so Lightning Ooh, Storm is that? one red red for an instant. Lightning Storm deals X damage to target creature or player where X is 3 plus the number of charge counters on it. Discard a okay. land card. Put two charge counters on Lightning Storm. You may, uh, you may choose new targets for it. Any player may play this ability, uh, but only if Lightning Storm is on the stack. So there's Ooh, a few okay. things with this card. First of all, when you cast it, you must hold priority. Otherwise, you won't have the opportunity to do the discard a land part. Hmm, okay. So you cast it, hold priority, then discard your lands. The second thing is, I believe this is the only card in Magic's history where there's counters on a card while it's on the stack. Right. And, yeah, because um, typically you have counters on enchantments, on creatures, but 
Oh yeah, yeah. Delphi Santano has agreed. Yes, this is the only card in history of Magic that has counters while it's on the stack. <laughs> yeah, I was introduced to that card uh, by Delphi Santano, and I, I absolutely love it. <laughs> he says the OG ad nauseum win con. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. Seems good. Yep. Uh, yeah, Delphi says uh, Elixir is an old standard win con. Don't get me uh, started on the mana monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Simeon Spirit Eight uh, didn't do anything wrong. See, I, I just thought Ragavan when you said that one. Um. Anyways, Heinz D says that we also shouldn't sleep on mana rocks. So, all right, let's go ahead and start adding them. So, Soul Ring. Yep, that's uh, Ashen's favorite. Mm hmm. Uh, clearly. And uh, Thought Vessel seems like an, uh, another nice one for this type of deck. Two mana for an artifact with no maximum hand size. Tap yep. to add a colorless. Um, Talisman of Creativity, I think. Uh, yep, Talisman of Creativity. Mm -hmm. I do like the Talisman. Yep. You can definitely go with the Talisman here. Yep. Um, hmm. Yeah, besides that. Acadian Merchant, both Sakashimas and a Spark Double for Double Trouble. Is this you, Han? <laughs> you, <laughs> you, and my, you and Macadian Merchant have the same sort of style here. I kind of like it. <laughs> so, uh, Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, three in a blue, Human Rogue, three one. You may have it enter as a copy of another creature you control, except it's Sakashima of a Thousand Faces, other abilities. And uh, the legend rule does not apply to permanent. Yeah. And what was the other one? Spark double. Spark double. Three and a blue. What are we trying to spark double here? That that's my question, actually, though. Rael. Well, we're just having multiple forms of Rael. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Okay. Okay. We can literally draw through our deck probably oh. multiple times. You know what's one fun one that uh, I just thought of? Um, Key to the City seems pretty great in Rael. Uh. So, Key to the City is, I believe, hmm, is it two, one mana? I can't remember. Two off mana. Two, right? Two mana artifact. There we go. Yeah. Two mana artifact. You tap and discard a card, which we like to do, and up to one target creature can't be blocked this turn. So, let's just swing unblockable Rael for lethal commander damage, right? And whenever the key becomes untapped, you may pay two, and if you do draw a card, so it's just fueling all kinds of engine. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah, I like it. Um, One of the few decks that I think I would run that. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, suggestions, so I'm just going to go back and see what I... Uh, so Luther says Drake Haven. In case we need flying chumps. <laughs> Whenever you cycle or discard a card, you may pay one. If you do create a 2-2 blue Drake creature token with flying. You could just go wide with that. What yeah. was the other one that was similar to that? Um... Uh, Improbable Alliance? Not sure which one you're talking about, so... Uh, Improbable Alliance. Uh, one blue, one red for an enchantment. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token with flying. Uh, and then it has pay four blue, red, draw a card, discard a card. But if we're discarding and Royale's making us draw again, that's our second draw, which will make us a 1-1 one, one fairy. Hmm, okay. Extra bodies on the battlefield. Yeah. Ashen's given us a, a Bosaju. Bosaju. Yep. Bosaju. Comes into play tap. Who shelters all. Tap, pay two life. Add one colorless mana to your mana pool. If that mana be spent on any spell, it can't be counted. Yeah. <laughs> Followed up with, there we go, Kamigawa suggestion. Yep. <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> uh, Luther also says Mystic Redaction uh, is more redundancy on our mill strategy. So. Uh, Mystic Redaction, Modern Horizons 2 Enchantment, three, uh, 2 and a blue, for uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, scry 1. Whenever you discard a card, each opponent mills 2 cards. I love it. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go for Commander Damage and Mill Strategy then, by the looks of it. And drawing a bunch of cards, yep. Yeah. I like it. Uh, Desolated Lighthouse as a second Geiger. There's uh, Marcadian. Desolated Lighthouse, okay. Um, one blue, uh, red, draw a card, discard a card. Yep. Yep. And add a colorless otherwise. Doesn't come in tapped. Love it. Uh, okay, so we can sk skip ahead a little bit here. Um, <laughs> Ashton says, shakes head. Conspiracy theorist. 
dreamscape artist. I like the dreamscape artist a lot, but let's start with conspiracy theorist. Okay. Uh, conspiracy theorist is one in a red from Strixhaven for a two-two human shaman. Whenever conspiracy theorist attacks, you may pay one and discard a card. If you do draw a card, whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we got to attack with this guy. Pay one, discard a card, draw a card. And whenever you discard, you may exile one of them from your graveyard and cast it. Okay, so that's interesting. What are we trying to cast with that? I mean, any... Any one of our... <laughs> one of our instants, we're going to keep that going on. Like, shuffle. Okay. Yeah, pretty reasonable. Hmm. Uh, Dreamscape Artist is the other one that uh, was suggested uh, by Ashen. Um, Dreamscape Artist is one in a blue for a 1-1 one, one human spell shaper. Uh, for two in a blue and tapping the Dreamscape Artist, you can discard a card, sacrifice a land, search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, shuffle your library. So, yeah. Sacrifice a land and discard and draw off of Rael, but also get to put two untapped basics into play. So... Yeah. Ramping in blue and red. Blue ramp and card draw. Repeated, yeah. Yeah. For three mana, not bad. Because you get two of those back anyways. Heinz D says Bedlam Reveler. Remind myself what a Bedlam Reveler is. Six red red I'm... for a devil horror. Uh, it costs one less for each uh, instant sorcery card in your graveyard with prowess. Ooh, I love that effect. Okay. When it enters the battlefield, discard your hand and draw three cards. Ooh, okay. I like that. Lots going on there. That's yeah, it. people aren't going to see that one coming at all. No. No, I like that one. Uh, Mercadium Merchant says Cephalid Coliseum for the draw six. I actually just recently bought this thing. So Cephalid Coliseum is a land. Uh, it taps to add blue to your mana pool. Uh, it will deal one damage to you. However, it also has threshold for blue and tap. Sacrificing Cephalid Coliseum. Target player. Draw three cards, then discards three cards from his or her hand. Yeah. As you say, draw, draw six. Draw discard six. Three. Yep. <laughs> this is looking really good. I like it. Um, uh, Mercadian Merchant, Cephalid Coliseum. That, I picked that one up for uh, my Octavia deck that I'm currently in the middle of building. Is that the octopus? Yeah. It's a fun one. Uh, Luther says Mirari may be fun in here. Mirari? As in... Just oh. a regular one? Mirari or Conjecture? Uh, I think he's referring, I think we're referring to the artifact, right? Five mana for a legendary artifact. Whenever you play an instant or sorcery spell, you may pay three. If you do, put a copy of that spell onto the stack. You may choose new targets for that copy. I mean, yeah, if we're going to have heavy instant and sorcery build because of Rael's ability, I think that does really well. Seems good, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Cadian merge. Flagrate. Conflagrate, yeah. I quite like Conflagrate. Uh, so this one is XX Red. Deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and players. Flashback Red Red. Discard X cards. Yeah? Yeah, it's it's any number of targets as far as the Oracle text. I quite like that one. Yeah. So this would actually be better to discard and then play as Flashback. Yeah, this could be one of the ones you discard and then you just do it do it as flashback cost for sure yeah i like that one though. flashback payoff um speaking of uh i've got one um rights of refusal uh okay. one in a blue for an instant that allows you to discard any number of cards from your hand counter target spell unless this controller pays three for each card discarded this way oh actually. it's a odd counter spell but can be very potent Yes. And draws a bunch of cards. Pretty good. Yeah. There are so many cards that I have not seen, and I'm glad that they're finding a home. <laughs> uh, Heinz D says, oh, I'm sorry, Mercadia Merchant says, uh, Dak Faden as ramp. Dak Faden, okay. Oh, I like Dak Faden. So our, is it Planeswalker? So Dak Faden is one blue, red, three loyalty Planeswalker. Plus one. Target player draws two cards, then discards two. Um, pretty plus, good. <laughs> plus one, draw four, discard two. <laughs> yep. Minus two, gain control of target artifact. Minus six, you get an emblem with whenever you cast a spell that targets one or more permanents, 
control of those permanents. I think we're just using it for the plus one, really, aren't we? I mean, we can use it early for the minus two, I suppose. But yeah, that plus one sounds juicy with Rael. What's that to fairy? Um, oh. uh, is it master of what? time? Mm -hmm. um, so you may activate <laughs> one this. One with 50 versions? Yeah, I know. You may activate its loyalty <laughs> abilities anytime you could cast an instant. Uh, draw a card, discard a card. So that's pretty good. Target creature yep. phases out and take two turns after this one. I think that's kind of good because we can do this in eight turn. Yeah, that seems really, really good for myself. This is just me and the history of me ever playing a Teferi. Doesn't matter what the name is. <laughs> you wind up dying quite quite quickly afterwards I in my experience the mono blue one's not so bad uh i beg to differ personally <laughs> anybody that ever plays it to fairy the rest of the table eight times out of ten <laughs> winds up turning on you that's because you play dirty uh -uh. <laughs> uh, uh so heinz d says deflecting swap slash fierce guardianship because we need our commander seems yeah. fair we're in both those colors sure uh ashton says og tybalt i was wondering if you were gonna skip over that because i was gonna tell you off because you know how i feel about tybalt hmm. putting in fierce guardianship so and defecting fiend blooded so this is the red red two mana tybalt that has plus one draw a card then discard a card at random okay comes in with two loyalty by the way minus four tybalt deals damage equal to the number of cards in target player's hand to that player. Okay. Minus six, gain control of all creatures until end of turn, untap them. They gain haste until end of turn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I see one down down a little bit that I really like. Uh, that one. Rickidium. Trying to find the other Tybalt. No. Which Tybalt are you looking for? Rakish Instigator? No. The Chaos? Oh, that's what I was looking for. Sorry, my mind has just gone from Tybalt to Gamble. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Search your library for a card, put that card into your hand, discard a card at random, and shuffle your library. I, I think the risk, but also getting the card draw off it, uh, in my opinion, is just worth it. Sure. And if you get a card with flashback, if you discard it, who cares? Yeah, I suppose that works. Um, so, uh, Mercadia Merchant says, Champion is cool, dude. Uh, champion of Wits. So... Champion of Wits? I remember Champion of Wits, yeah. has It's the one that eternalizes. So, two and a blue for a 2-1 Naga Wizard. When it enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power. If you do, discard two cards. So, when this comes in, draw two cards, discard two cards. So, again, for, with Rael, yep. draw four, discard two. Now, when you eternalize it for seven, uh, five blue blue, you exile Champion of Wits from your graveyard, but it comes in as a black 4-4 four, four zombie so when it does you're drawing four cards discarding two so eternalize seven draw six discard two yeah seems okay seems good i like it and <laughs> i've never been a huge fan of the cavaliers personally i'll be honest uh luther cavalier of flame do it's not so played with uh two red 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 five banner for a six five elemental a one and a red. Creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, oh, and gain haste until it. when it enters the battlefield, discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. When it dies, it deals X damage to each opponent and planeswalker they control, where X is the number of land cards in the graveyard. I like the middle ability. I mean, also consider that if we are doing tectonic reformation to give everything cycling, we may have a decent number of lands in the graveyard. And lightning storm. Yep. Oh, actually, yeah, that does synergize quite nicely. Yeah, especially with the way that we have our deck. I could see that. Yeah. Okay. I give up. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Heinz D says attunement. Let's go. I'm not sure what that means. Can you elaborate, Heinz D? Um, it's a so card. So Mercadia Merchant. Oh, it's a card in and of itself. <laughs> attunement okay. is two and a blue enchantment. Return attunement to its owner's hand. Draw three cards, then choose and discard four cards. Hmm. So it's an enchantment, but it acts like a sorcery, but it's repeatable continuously. Seems I, good. Yeah. I like that in this deck. 
Uh, so the one I like is coming up here. Uh, Mercadium Merchant says, Forbid. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, forbid is very similar to uh, Rights of Refusal. So one blue, blue with buyback. Choose and discard two cards to buy it back. Counter target spell. This is the best buyback spell I've ever seen. Three mana <laughs> to counter a spell, draw two cards, get your spell back. <laughs> yeah, do it again. <laughs> this is disgusting. I quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> Luther is saying flux, but the weatherlight edition of the artwork. So. Okay. Uh, let me try and find. Are we looking at energy flux? No. Essence flux? Flux. Weatherlight. So two and a blue sorcery. Each player chooses and discards any number of cards, then draws that many cards for a card. Yeah. So three mana, discard four, draw four, draw four, draw one. Yeah, seems fine. Yeah. Now, we've got a lot of instant sorceries in the graveyard, obviously for Rael's ability. Um, what was the, is it the Drake? Name of that Drake. Um, Which one are you talking about? Double blue, double red. When it enters, draw a card. It's power and toughness. Or Crackling power. Drake. That's the one. Mm hmm Crackling Drake. Yep, so blue, blue, red, red for, a zero, uh, for an X4 flying drake. Power is equal to the total number of instant sorcery cards you exile and in your graveyard. Enters the battlefield. I just think having a flying beast is um, worth it. We actually have more creatures than I thought we would have, actually. We have 13, and we also have Shark yeah. Typhoon to make more and Improbable Alliance and Drake Haven. Okay. <laughs> You giggling at. Delphine Santana's comment uh, down below. Uh, ew, Forbid is in this deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Acadian Merchant, Mind Over Matter. Very busted. Okay, that's two yeah. blue, 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 blue. So uh, six, six mana for an enchantment. Choose and discard a card. Tap or untap target artifact, creature, or land. Oh my. Okay. So in someone's up <laughs> so in someone's upkeep, you can discard a card for each land they have to tap their lands down and refill our hand with Rael to keep doing it. That is disgusting. <laughs> Luther also says, ew, I love it in regards to that. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. Never run out of cut well, it we will run out eventually, but it's disgusting. I like it. Well, we would run out because it it's once per is, turn. It's only the right, but still. Luther says, "Wouldn't Ryle only see the first trigger, though?" Yeah, yeah, so. well, but you can tap down key pieces. Yeah, especially if they're running something like a, um, you know, Ultron. So Delphi Santana says, "We Dragonauts could be nice." Um, one blue, red for a flying 1-3 fairy wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, we Dragonauts gets plus 2, plus 0 until end of turn. I like it. However, here's a thought. Okay. Because my brain just goes, we're discarding anyways. Why not anger and wonder? <laughs> Sorry? Wonder? Okay, let me comma, put that in the main anger. board. So wonder is 3 and a blue for a a creature incarnation. Oh, I get it now. Uh, reprinted in Modern Horizons 2. <laughs> 2 2 flyer. As long as wonder is in your wonder is in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have fly. And anger is three and a red. 2 2 haste incarnation. As long as anger is in your graveyard and you control a mountain, creatures you control have haste. Sure. Seems reasonable. Yeah, seems all right. Uh Alien Merchant says Seismic Assault is another way to blast off. Seismic Assault is triple red for another enchantment. Discard a land card, it deals two damage to target creature or player. Yeah? Hmm. Yeah. All right. So, how? what are we up to now? Because I think it's going <laughs> to start getting... We're at 98 cards. Okay. Um... Okay, so let's. I'm going to throw some suggestions in here. <laughs> oh, hang on. Uh, Delphi Sano oh. just said Anger has a heart by Rebecca Gwen. Yay. Uh, so I think it's Judgment. Nope, oh, that's John Avon. I think you lied to me there. Wonder, not Anger. Was it Wonder? Mm hmm. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty on distracting yep. me. <laughs> no, saying that Wonder has the Rebecca Gay art. Yeah, and as Luther so says, on. she's coming back to magic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. I've got a, you can immediately throw this in the maybe board suggestion. Um, I want to throw in a mnemonic deluge. Six blue, blue, blue for a sorcery. Exile target instant or sorcery card from a graveyard. Copy that card three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana costs. Exile mnemonic deluge. Do you know what I always pair with this? I have an idea. What's your idea? The omniscient. No, expropriate. Come on. Come on. You're going to, expropriate gets discarded. So it does not get exiled. And then with Mnemonic Deluge, you're going to exile Expropriate to copy it three times. Come on. Expropriate. They're going in the maybe board because that's just too filthy. <laughs> uh, expropriate, starting with you, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, take an extra turn. For each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it. Exile Expropriate. So you're going to copy that effect three times. I just want to do it. It's disgusting, huh? <laughs> this you is why we can't money. have nice things. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some actual, some actual things. I think Jace's Archivist is probably a really good one. Uh, uh, one blue blue for the 2-2 two -two Vidalcan Wizard. Pay a blue and tap it. Each player discards his or her hand. Draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. Yeah. I had someone play this against me the other day when I was playing Commander. I was playing my Merfolk, and um, mm -hmm. they activated this, and I flashed in Holbreach. It was beautiful. Yep. Seems pretty good. Don't play Holbreacher. It's not fair on other people. <laughs> yeah, don't be so sad. I just said, ew. Um, <laughs> Ashen, Ashen's suggesting uh, Nahiri's Wrath. Okay. Oh, I think, red. Have you missed me? Sorcery. As an additional cost to Nehiri's Wrath, discard X cards. Nehiri's Wrath deals to the converted mana cost of the discarded cards to each of up to X target creatures. Okay, that's cool. I like that one. Uh, I think we missed one. Mercadia Merchant says, boo, get this filth out of here, yikes. Um, so Mercadia Mass says, uh, uh, Merchant said, uh, <laughs> the Royal Scions is quite nice here, are quite nice. Um, one blue and a red for legendary planeswalker Will Rowan. Uh, five, comes in with five loyalty, plus one, draw a card, discard a card. Plus one, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains first strike and trample until end of turn. That's good. I can see that. Yep. Uh, minus eight, draw four cards when you do. Royal Silence deals damage to a tar any target equal to the number of cards in your hand. Yep. Seems good. Yeah. And giving trample to Rael. That's really good. And the first strike, to be honest, is only got three toughness. Yeah. So Luther says, so thus far we've steamed clear of obvious cards like Windfall, Valerian Winds, and Wheel of Fortune. I'd agree with the first two. Wheel of Fortune is a little expensive. Um, so Windfall, two and a blue for a sorcery. Each player discards their hand, draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. So kind of a similar effect to what we just mentioned with the Royal Scions. Yeah. Um, and Tolarian wins. Forget how that's worded. Uh, Tolarian wins one in a blue. Uh, instant discard your hand. Draw that many cards, right? Yeah. Hmm. I, I like it. You know. You know what Tolarian wins reminded me of just now, though. I, I can only see the professor. I mean, sure. <laughs> uh, it actually makes me want to put a zombie in. Uh, Forgotten creation is a card <laughs> that I really like. So, yeah. Uh, three. You you go ahead and read it, Lotus. You can you can tell me. I'm gonna okay. hydrate in the meantime. Three and a blue, or a three three zombie horror with skulk. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw that many cards. Ew. One second, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Uh, Luther AD says reforge the soul as a budget budget replacement to wheel. Oh, it's got the miracle cost. Three red red. Right. Each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. And that's going up to eight euro. Yeah, it's getting up there. Uh, Mercadium Merchant says Fervent Mastery is three gambles in a trench coat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> fervent Mastery. Three in a trench. <laughs> so, yeah, Fervent Mastery. Uh, since you're hydrating, three red red for a sorcery. 
It's out of strict saving. You may pay two red red rather than pay this spell's mana cost. If the two red red cost was paid, an opponent discards any number of cards and draws that many cards. Search your library for up to three cards, put them into your hand, shuffle, then discard three cards at random. I like that. I like three gambles too. in a trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> that caught me off guard, right. I'll be honest. <laughs> so we're at how many cards? 105. So we actually got to start cutting. We do. And um, potentially we... add cards. Do we even still have Lab Maniac? Did you ever, ever actually throw that in, by the way? <laughs> nope. Okay, so that's that's the kind got, of thing I'm talking about here. We've so. got so many shuffle effects. Do we want to win by Lab Maniac? I'm not sure that we do, but I'm... I feel like if we have things like Forgotten Creation out, we could potentially have like 20 cards in hand and discard 20 and draw that many cards, right? Uh, like, I'm gonna it, put... it would just it would draw us like 40 actually with Rael out. I'm gonna put a Lab Maniac in the maybe board because I think that would be another way the deck would work. But I just, right. I just. We can kill people with Vriel themselves, or cards like um, Seismic Assault, Tectonic Reformation. Glintorn Buccaneer. Yeah, Glintorn Buccaneer is going to be doing a lot of damage anytime we discard a card. So yeah, we, we have other ways to win for sure. Do we need Wonder and Anger? Like, honestly. I mean, I like the idea of giving Vriel flying, but that's just me. Um, I think if you really wanted to, you could probably cut Anger. If anything of the two. Yeah, so we'll put Anger in the maybe board then. Um, I feel like this entire deck also does focus on Rael a lot. So protection pieces I feel like are probably necessary for Rael. With Fit Boots and Lightning Greaves. Lightning Greaves. Um, what are other... Can anybody think of anything else for... Uh, in terms of giving Rael Hexproof? Because I can think of things like uh, Lazatep plating and whatnot, but... Any that do discard stuff as well. Yeah, if there's anything particularly spicy that you guys can think of. Uh, we got Luther AD saying, Diplomatic Immunity! <laughs> One in a blue for an enchantment uh, aura. Enchant creature can't be the target of spells or abilities. Diplomatic Immunity can't be the target of spells or abilities. Okay. That's a good one. That is a good one. Um, Ashen saying cut soul ring. <laughs> As he would. Um, but we can go get it with our Urza Saga. <laughs> yeah, it seems really good. I wouldn't play um, Lightning Greaves, can't target her, and we don't have many creatures to switch them. That's a good point. So we can have diplomatic... Well, diplomatic versus... immunity is basically a shroud and... It has it, like diplomatic immunity has shroud and enchanted creature has shroud, so it's the same effect essentially. But yeah, but but we want to give Rael trample, so we need to target it. Maybe so maybe the shroud effects are we, we want hex proof. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Heinz, so... you've, you've got it right. Okay. Um, Amp's helm, fashion champion helm. Three mana artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. As long as the equipped creature is legendary, it has hex proof. That works. Yeah. There you go. That replaces our uh, lightning greaves. Yeah, that'll work. Nice. Yeah, because I was I was thinking things like you know Lazatep plating because that'll give you and permanence you control hex proof. Um, yeah. That'll also potentially protect oh. our you know our enchantments or anything of that sort as well. Alien Master said crash through. Single red for a sorcery. Creatures you control gain trample to end a turn. Draw a card. I like that. Okay, so we're at 107 now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I need to stop. So, um, if there's any cards in here that you think are better upgrades or there's a card that would replace it, please let us know. We do need to start cutting, hence why I say upgrades. Um... Are there any cards in here that you feel shouldn't be in here and we could take out? I'm just looking through them right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ashen, you say Soul Ring needs to go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put in Arcane Signet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Drake's Haven uh, seems a bit pricey. I can see it getting expensive. Cost us one for every card. See that? Not looking to go super wide. We're looking to deal with Rael. So maybe this one as well, then Probable Alliance could go. Then that's incidental. 
Maybe not. I think Archmage, is, uh, Archmage Ascension, as much as I love the ability to tutor for everything, that's potentially going to require it to stay on the battlefield for six turns because it's at the beginning of each end step. Oh, each end step. So it might be just one one time and a half around the table, right? Yeah. But that's if you draw two or more cards this turn. Okay. Yeah, if we discard two cards, draw two cards. I see, I see. Okay, I like it better than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> uh, really struggling to find things to cut with at the minute. Um, I know... Quest for Ancient Secrets, maybe? Quest for Ancient Secrets. Yeah. Because we do have other abilities that allow us to shuffle graveyards into libraries, I feel like. Yeah, we have got a lot of them. Uh, Delphi Sartano, I'm out. I just realized you're running Sphinx's tutelage, you monsters. Um, yeah, this is the that's the <laughs> only card that I am um, that Delphi Santano has raged quit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it makes me laugh. I'm gonna get you a framed picture. Give that to you for your birthday. Yeah, just so you know, that was the one that uh, Lotus decided to seek out herself. <laughs> just for you. Just for you, apparently. <laughs> That's because you're mean. Because, uh, Heinz D says the Cavalier and the Crackling Drake could go. Yeah, um, Crackling Jake I think doesn't the crackling do enough. Crackling Drake for sure. Uh, Cavalier I like, but I can also see it being cut because we have other things that do that as well. Yeah. Uh, hmm. We're 103. No, so we're doing good. Okay. Hey. Uh, Marari, for the same idea that we had earlier, it just costs a lot to do. Yeah, it's paying three on top of anything, plus it's five to get out. Seems fair. I'm still not so sure on Wonder, to be honest. I mean, you can maybe board it. I'm fine with that. And Narset's the other one that's screaming out at me. Why? It's making them only... They can only draw one card each turn, but we're making them mill with Teferi's Tutelage, Sphinx's Tutelage, Psychic Corrosion, uh, Mystic Redaction. Right. So, surely them drawing more cards help than us mill more? Sure. So, I'm going to maybe board the Nar set, but it's not out the deck, it's just maybe that's a different way we can go. That's um, fair. We're at 100 cards, so we've got no room to add. We've got room to switch. Right. Um, Psychic Spiral seems expensive for that same effect when we have learned from the past right next to it. Psychic Spiral? Yeah, it's under instance. Oh, um, yeah. So shuffle cards from your graveyard to the library. Target player puts that many cards on top of his library uh, into his graveyard. So That's fair. I think learn from the past is the one as well as uh, clear the mind they're both, you know, clear the mind is three, learn from the past is four to have those effects. Okay. Um, so with that, uh, I think solve the equation seems fine. I don't think we ever talked about that, but it's just find instant or sorcery card, reveal it, put it in your hand. I think that's pretty good in this deck. Yeah, go find a shuffler effect. Um, the only other things that I'm thinking of off the top of my head, we don't have a dock side yet. On, um, yeah. Just saying. So Heinz D has also said they're not so sure on the Sakashima and Spark double. So I would I... say if we're doing one or the other, I would say just do the Sakashima, if anything. Yeah. Well, Spark double's cheaper. They're the in same. Terms of, uh, in terms of monetary value is what I was thinking. Well, yeah. Um... So I think for me, it'd be Spark double and Sakashima out just because we don't try to break the legend rule that much, I don't think. In this deck, uh, what we at? We're at a hundred. Yeah, no, um, that makes and sense. And yeah, we do play some walkers, so that way we keep the spark double to double up on the planes walkers. Adian Merchant says uh, Neza Hall. Um, if we wanted to put in Neza Hall, I would be okay with swapping out like the Champion of Wits if you're trying to do something like that because it's the same mana cost for the seven, seven. eternal. Can't be countered. No maximum hand size. Whenever. Uh, Opponent cast a non-creature spell, draw a card, discard three cards, um, turn it, exile it, return it to the battlefield, tapped under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. That's a good sack out, uh, a, a discard outlet as well. Yep. Uh, what are we swapping it for? Um, I would say Champion of Wits, because yep. the Eternalized cost is seven, if we're doing that. Makes sense. 
Heinz Desis maybe includes Chandra's ignition as a finisher or board wipe. Not the worst suggestion, for sure. A red red target creature you cause deals damage equal to its power, each other creature and each opponent. I mean, if Rael's getting huge, then yeah, that would be a finish. So here's my question, right? So uh, sorceries and instants, how many are we looking at right now? Total of 29, so a third of the deck. Okay, and we're at 101. So yep. if we have everything in our graveyard, we can get plus 20, uh, 29.3 on Rael. Okay. Yep. Interesting. And don't forget, we can kill someone that's probably lower health than just 40. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm just thinking in terms of one-shotting, though. Um, okay, let's see. So I'm trying to think of creatures to swap out. For what? Uh, we're at 101, right? Oh, right, okay, yeah. Um, conspiracy theorist seems good. I mean, these are all pretty, pretty solid in this deck, I think. Did you want to cut to fairy because you said that makes us a target? I mean... I'm okay with that. I think Dak Faden and Royal Scions both do more for three. Yeah. I personally would probably be running the Teferi, and that's just my play style. But the Royal Scions and Dak Faden just do so much as well. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. I'm trying to think if I've missed anything that I really want to talk about. Um, Something to consider if you really want a Teferi card is the Ageless Insight. I don't suppose that's not the word i suppose that's not bad uh two blue blue for legendary enchantment if you draw a card except the first one you just draw two instead that would really deck ourselves i would say yeah. we'll maybe board it if we're going the lab man route um that yeah, would be a I, very good way of that doing it command beacon in place of a basic if commander becomes too pricey i don't see that being too much of a problem but yeah i could see that for sure just I mean, throw it in, might as well. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't take a slot. It, it's just good. And we're going to be casting our commander as much as possible. Right. What are your thoughts, what are your thoughts on uh, Blood Moon? No? Why? Why do we uh, need a Blood Moon? <laughs> we because have... it sounds like we're doing some mean things. Yeah, we're not just being... throwing it out there. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, so our average mana curve is 2.95. <laughs> Mercadium just says why though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to Han. I just Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> I mean it's got some beautiful art. It does. If you really want a reason. Just saying. I quite like that new art from uh Double Masters personally. So um Let me cure. Ooh. What do we have a Magus of the Bazaar in? That seems really good actually. Uh, Magus of the Bazaar, one and a blue, draw two, then discard three. We don't have this, no. I mean, just tap it and draw five, discard three. There you go. Yeah. It seems like real good value at two. Now um, we need a cut. <laughs> You're making Yeah, it. I know. Trying to find something to cut. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, Sorcery Speed, discards two, draw three cards. It's just the creature version, and we can get repeated value out of it. True. I'll do it, but we can't cut too many instant sorceries because Rael's power is equal. Right, to right, that. right. I'm just saying it just seems like a like a even trade. That's all. Ooh, Luther says primal am amulet may be spell reduction into spell duping. Okay. Uh, yeah, primal... it took me a second, Luther. <laughs> I was like speak spell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, instant sorceries cost one less whenever you cast instant. I'll put a charge counter on it if there are. Th or more charge counters on move those counters and transform You're it. good, Luther. No worries. And then tap, add one mana of any color. When that mana is spent to cast an instant spell, copy that spell, and you make targets for the copy. I like that. I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to take out Arcane Signet, because mana reduction, one mana oh, producing man, I'm, mana. I'm forgetting the blue card. Island? No. <laughs> Oh, it's a pet card of mine. I'm forgetting it, the name of it. Um, it's, I believe, 3 CMC. It's a sorcery. Uh, each player must pay, like, one, two, or three mana, and if they can't, they have to sacrifice the creature. I'm sure Ashen will type in chat what that is in a few seconds. Man, it's a good removal spell. Doesn't see a lot of play, but we're not running that many creatures in the deck. Fair. 
Uh, Mercadian Mar uh, Merchant said, uh, Baby Jace, the place of any other looter, as we, as we, if we have any, he needs some love. Jace Vrin's Prodigy. Readept? There you go. Yeah. Oh no, that's Party Chip. I always forget which one Baby Jace is. Which one's Baby Jace? Baby Jace? Like the, are we talking about the, like the creature? Vrin's Prodigy? No. Oh, Fade Away. Fade away. Mm hmm. It's a sorcery. Two and a blue for, for each creature. Its controller sacrifices a permanent, unless they pay one. That's... We're not running that many creatures. No, but it's. I don't think this is the type of deck this is for, though. I think it's a fantastic little board wipe, personally. <laughs> I, I'm going to maybe board that one just because. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, that's fair. <laughs> okay. So. I'm not sure what else we need, because I'm quite liking where this is at the minute. Yeah, I'm good with it. Forbidden Orb. Whenever you tap for a target opponent, creates a 1-1 one, one color spirit creature token. Oh, right, for the um, <laughs> fadeaway. Yeah, you're all monsters. I like the way you think, Luther. See, I'd put it in with Varchild to be perfectly honest. And also, we're all monsters. You're the one that looked up Sphinx's tutelage. True. But no, if I was running fadeaway, <laughs> I'd run it in a Varchild sort of scenario where you just give loads of people one one survivors sure we're all monsters yeah you, here. Could, do, yeah. you could do that you could do things like uh <laughs> amphin mutineer <laughs> if somebody is it the crow and horse element. <laughs> Ooh, a crow and horse would work really well for that yeah yeah well, that's another deck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no i think this deck's pretty much done i quite like I'm it i'm happy with it uh, yeah. any particular like utility lands that you can think of that we probably should add here? Like I can think of like Mystic Sanctuary right off the bat. I mean, adding cards back to the top of our library is pretty good. Um, it's a land, uh... it's an island. Comes in uh, untapped if you control three or more other islands. It enters the battlefield untapped. You may put target in every card from your graveyard on top of your right. Um. And then, I don't know, what do you think? Uh, things like uh, Castle Vantress? I think Castle Vantress is a good one in this situation. Scry 2. I don't think, don't think we need um, the red one. You know what I am surprised you haven't mentioned, Lotus? What's that? We're in blue. You haven't mentioned any Flash. I didn't want to go Flash again. <laughs> 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 just throwing it out there again. i know for dalkin ori and things like that but... oh, i mean leyline yeah yeah <laughs> uh witch's clinic might do fun stuff in this Ooh, you are not wrong there hi z that is a spicy one riel swinging for i don't know 15 giving you 15 life yeah yeah which is clinic i need to buy one of After them for a color list Tap for a colorless. Uh, yeah, target commander gets lifelink until end of turn for paying two and tapping it, I think. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's a good, good card. call. Search for, as an uh, search for as canter is a nice land. <laughs> I mean, we're going to put it in the land slot, yeah. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card sure. into your graveyard. Then if you have seven or yep. more cards, flip it. And on the other side is the legendary land, two and blue. Tap, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non creature, non land card from among them. Put it into. So I'm cutting yeah. a land Island. for that. Yep, there we go. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, that's a very good land. Oh, I'm quite happy with this. <laughs> mm. But yeah. <laughs> 100 cards. Yeah. Oh, I think this is really good. Obviously, yep. we can add in dual lands, um, scolding tarns, as they're now a bit more available, uh, steam vents, um, swift water cliffs, you know, all the fetches, like evolving wilds, terramorphic expanse, fable passage, make it easier. But that's down to your own preference. Myriad Ooh. landscape. Yep. You know, you know what we did forget? Rhystic study. We did forget that. It's a really good draw engine. Okay, Han. We're drawing so much as it is. I I personally <laughs> think this is a deck where Rhystic Study is a dangerous card for us. <laughs> oh, what are your thoughts on Jace's Sanctum then? Because that's actually fairly relevant. Um, maybe board probably then, I guess. Okay. 
But Jason Sanctum, three and a blue for an enchantment. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, scry one. Yeah, I think that's a maybe board, maybe depending on your circumstance of how you want to play the deck. That's fair. But yeah. Yeah. I think I'm good with it. Don't forget training ground as a... Training center. Oh, training center. Oh, right, yes. Uh, Battle bond yeah. lands. No, that's that's understandable. Yeah, shove all those in. Make it good manner efficient. Budget. Yeah. Yeah. Fiery Islet. Yeah. Uh, the pay one life for blue or red. Yeah. You can also sacrifice it to draw a card. But yeah, all seems good. Yeah, uh, mana base, you guys can go ahead and tweak to your liking. But yeah, it seems seems good as it is, though. Yeah. Um, what I'll do as well is I'll put the link to this um, deck list on the Into the 99 website within the next 30 minutes. You can grab it, copy it, edit it in your own own um, deck building sites. Um, but three hundred dollars, pretty reasonable to be fair. Quite a lot of these yeah. are common, so there must be like one or two that are just racking up the price. Uh, deflecting swap, fearful guardianship. There's there's a hundred dollars right there. I just noticed though. I was looking through our creatures. Harmonic prodigy. So any shaman or wizard, the ability triggers an additional time. So other wizards we have are Jace's Archivist. So each player discards his hand and then draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. That can happen twice. So Magus of the Bazaar. Also, Magus of the Bazaar is going to draw two cards, discard three cards twice. Yeah, that could be Seems quite good. funny. Yeah, I don't know that we have any shamans in here, but yeah, that... That's some excellent value. <laughs> Prodigy is only triggers, so as um, yeah, they're activated abilities. We do have a shaman. Conspiracy theorist happens twice. Congrats, folks! We've created something horrifying. So beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. But uh, I'm happy with this. Are you happy, Han? Yeah, man. Conspiracy theorist, whenever you discard one or more non-land cards, you may exile one of them from your graveyard. If you do, you may cast it this turn. You can do that twice. Nuts. <laughs> yep, but I'm happy. Let's let's roll with this. <laughs> Behold, yeah. says Mercadia Merchant. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll get this up on the website within the next 30 minutes so you can link, uh, get the link. Um, don't know what we're doing next week. If anyone has a suggestion in chat in the next few minutes, Shove it in. We'll see what we can do. Um, otherwise, thanks to everyone to... Um, isn't Captain Shark a shaman? Uh, he is a shaman. Ew. I'll be damned. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, the new Torok. That's an interesting one, the new Torok. I'll have take a... a look at it. Yeah, we'll have a look at that one. Um, but otherwise... Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening for another episode of Bring It Live. It's been great, and we can't do this literally without you guys. Um, if you'd like to see more, go to our website, into the 99com There'll be articles, uh, YouTube videos. Um, we also have the link to our Discord community, so you can actually chat to us, brew with us live in there as well. Also, the links to our Patreon and our merch actually support us in a more financial way as well um otherwise we'll be back this time well not this time but um nine o'clock gmt what time is it for you Han? four or est yep every EST. every saturday but uh that that's all from us thanks for joining us and uh see you next week see you have a good one have a good one and be safe bye <laughs> bye <laughs> Yeah.